Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Mount Peak Paracord. Today I'll be showing you how to make the double cobra knot key fob. Before we begin, could you guys do me a favor, hit that subscribe and like button. And with that said, let's begin. So I've got myself about two strands of five feet. Doesn't matter what color, I chose gray and neon orange. And you're gonna wanna decide what your base is going to be. So I'm gonna have my gray be my base. Also, make sure you have a pair of scissors and a key ring or a clip or whatever. So we'll go ahead and we'll get our scissors now. There we go. And our lighter. So I'm going to Use my gray as the base, and you're gonna find the midpoint of it, which is right about here. You're gonna flip it upside down, and you're gonna choose the length of how long you want your key fob to be. I'm gonna have my key fob be about this long. So, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna take your left, and you wanna loop it, bring it over the top of the base, your right over the left, under the base, through the loop on the left. Go ahead and pull that tight. Just leave a little bit of slack because you're gonna wanna get your weaving end in there. So go ahead, bring it up through the right and through the left. Go ahead and find the midpoint of this cord as well. And once you've found your midpoint, you can go ahead and tighten that up. And once you've tightened that up, you can start weaving. Once you have put your weaving strand through the top, you're gonna take your right Bring it over, you're going to have your left come over, under, through the loop, and go ahead and pull tight. And you should ideally have something that looks a little bit like this. It looks a little bit funky now, but trust me, it'll come out the way it's supposed to. So we have the notch on the left, left over base, right over cord, under base, the loop on the left and you're just gonna weave all the way down right over base left over right under base through the loop and the right go ahead and we'll do one more right or I'm sorry uh, left over base right over left under base through the loop on the left Right over base, left over right, under base, through the loop on the right. And then just continue that pattern all the way down, and ideally you should be getting something that looks a little bit like this. Once you have weaved all the way down to your desired key fob length, you want to leave this little hole here because your key ring is going to clip into here. So after you've weaved, you're going to take your remaining cords and you're just going to do the same thing all the way down left over base right over left under base to the loop and you want to go ahead and just pull tight you should get something that looks like this notches on our right so do what we usually do left over right under base to the loop on the right Go ahead and pull that tight. Notches on the left, left over base, right over left, under base, through the loop on the left. And you should be getting something that looks a little bit like this. Notches on our right, so you're gonna bring your right over your base, your left over your right, under your base, through the loop on the right. 
and do your best to keep everything squared away as best as possible. And ideally you should be getting something that looks a little bit like this. Weave all the way down to where you left off on your base weave. Once you have weaved all the way down, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going just to snip and singe these. Head, snip this one and this one and snip these two. Go ahead and singe them. Just like so. Got a little bit of the inners of the paracord shown through here, so we'll just go ahead and fix that. There we go. Finish singeing that. Then we singe the other side. And you should ideally have something looks a little bit like this. Set these aside. Grab your key ring here. Go ahead and you're gonna go ahead and put it right through here. So I'm actually gonna grab my pick. I'm just gonna put a little bit of emphasis on this loop here. Go ahead and take my key ring or split ring. This part can be a little bit tricky, but it's okay. Go ahead and use my pick. And this split ring's a little firm, so it's a little tough to get on. But that's perfectly fine. There we go. And yeah, there you go. Got yourself a double cobra knot key fob. Yeah, with that done, could you guys do me a favor? Hit that subscribe and like button. And until next time.